After serving at the BYU Family History Center for four years, I was starting to get overwhelmed with keeping track of things that I wanted to be able to refine and use easily. So this will be a short presentation with some basic and simple ideas that have helped me organize some of my genealogy and computer paraphernalia. Again, these are simple and unsophisticated ideas about organizing your genealogy handouts and organizing your thumb drives. When I started getting a lot of family history handouts from prayer meeting presentations, conferences, etc., I put them all in a binder. That storage system degenerated into stacks and then into boxes. There were some great handouts and as I taught classes in the ward, etc., I wanted to use them so I didn't have to reinvent the wheel, so I had to come up with some sort of system to store these handouts. As I was trying to devise a system to store them, there were a few pertinent things I wanted to know about the handout. One, the date the handout was created, as some of these handouts, such as particular uh, specific methods of using family search, do get outdated. I can then cross them off the list and toss them, but I need to know the date the name of the handout or identification of the item, who produced it or where I got it, and any other topics in the handout that might be covered that I may want to relate to later. My dad was an architect and business owner and he had great organizational ideas. He had a file at home he called his MUD file. That stood for Miscellaneous Unclassified Documents and he would just put a number in the corner of each item, for example, MUD60, and then he would put these all in folders, about 50 per folder in numerical order, and he kept a log of what item was associated with each number. Here's a picture of some of the items that were in his MUD folders. Mom's social security card, his passport, and their patriarchal blessings. I decided to use Dad's idea. I am using file boxes that can be inexpensively purchased at Costco, Walmart, etc. I labeled the front of the box genealogy slash family history handouts and information. I created a log in Excel and as I file the items by the number of the item I type the description in Excel containing the date of the item, where I got it, what it is, and any other pertinent information. I mark that number on the actual item, handouts, notes, or whatever, so it will appear in the upper left corner as I file them. Each Pendaflex holder holds about three quarter inches worth of documents. These items can now be easily found by doing a search in Excel on any word that will be in the description. For example, I in the above left picture, I wanted to find a document showing how to produce fan charts. I hit Control F in my Excel document and typed the words fan chart in the resulting box and it took me to document number 50. It's a great way for me. I keep the printout of the log in the first folder. That way I can find things without having to turn the computer on. Thumb drives are like rabbits. They multiply quickly. People give them to you as gifts when you're somewhere when you need to exchange large computer files and you've forgotten to bring a drive. You just buy another thumb drive. All of a sudden you and your spouse have 20 to 30 thumb drives. You can't remember what is on which one, where they are. You forget and leave them in someone's computer when you go home, etc., etc. So some of the things I wanted to do with my USB thumb drives to keep them organized were to put any USB stick being used on a lanyard. That way you won't forget and leave it in a computer somewhere. Individually number each USB stick with a sticker. Give each USB a distinguishable name on the computer. Store your USBs in a container for multiple sticks and create a log of USB thumb drive showing pertinent information for each USB. The next few slides show how these ideas were implemented. 
Lanyards can be purchased in many places. There are fun ones from universities with the university logo on them, glittery ones, etc. This lanyard in this photo was one I adapted from the uh, lanyard from Roots Tech with our name cards on it. It will be pretty hard to forget this thumb drive inserted in a computer when it's attached to this lanyard. In the photo below are shown two different ways of creating small enough labels to put on your thumb drives. They use things that you probably have around the house. Try and be consistent about where you put the label on your thumb drives. In the first example I used a quarter inch round hole punch and it was a little hard to separate the back off the label. I had to use that little pin. In the second example, and this one worked well, on any computer label just cut slits the width of the label and then cut them off individually as shown. Once on the USB stick I used a fine sharpie marker to write the number on the label. A thumb drive case can be purchased in many places. This zippered case shown above was one I purchased on Amazon for under $20. The case has a center insert which flips from side to side. On the bottom right I've I've flipped the insert to the left and you can see the pocket in it that I used to keep the log I created in Excel similar to the one for the family history handouts. There is also a place for a pin which can be used to write on the log. Once created you can just physically input on the log if you want rather than doing it on the computer. Let's take a look at that log. I created this log in Excel also and you can increase the line width so that if you want to handwrite on the uh, log you can rather than typing it in, in Excel. In Excel I have a column for the USB stick number. I have a column for the storage size of the disk whether it's a 64 gig, 8 gig, etc. I have a column for the make or the brand if you want it and the last column is for the contents of the disk. You can change this log to contain any information you want. You can also put like a plus or a minus next to the size indicating whether the disk is full or empty if you want that information. In order to rename the USB stick once it is inserted and shows up as a drive on the computer, right click on the existing name of that drive and this menu will appear. You select rename and then you start typing in the name. Now the name is limited to a certain number of characters and also to what characters you can use. And Here are the parameters that have worked for me as I named my drive. I put first the USB stick number which is on the log, the stick owner, an abbreviation of my name, and then the stick size. I use a hyphen 16 gig. Each stick having its own name is also nice because when you have several drives inserted you can tell which drive you are working on by the name which appears in the window when you insert the stick and this name or number also corresponds to the physical number on the stick. Happy organizing! I know being organized gives me peace of mind. So if you want to get organized, I hope some of these ideas might be kickoffs for you to help you organize your handouts and to organize your thumb drives.